Igish Fiontek versus Coco Goff is a second matchup for the WTA Finals for 2024. Both players are coming off wins in their first matches. Coco Goff enters the tournament as the number three in the world, qualifying for a yet another WTA Finals campaign. Last year, she did really well making the semifinals in Cancun, eventually losing to Bagula in that semifinal. But this year's been great. 50 wins, 16 losses on the year, including two titles, one of those titles being in Beijing a couple of weeks ago. Her best win has been against Zhang, and that was actually on the clay courts of Rome in the quarterfinal stage there. Her worst loss, however, was was against Sinia Koba in Doha, which was actually a pretty massive upset early on in that 1000 tournament to start the season. Her form, however, has been really, really good, having won Beijing and then doing really well in Wuhan, only losing to Sabalenka in the last couple of events. Igish Fiontek enters the tournament as the number two in the world, trying to recapture that world number one ranking like she did this time last year at the WTA Finals. Her best result was actually winning last year's WTA Finals. And as I mentioned, it got her back to the world number one spot. She's had a really good season this year as well. 59 wins, eight losses, which includes five titles, as well as another Grand Slam title at the French Open as well. Her best win was actually against Sabalenka back-to-back -back tournaments in Rome and Madrid. However, her worst loss was at the start of the season in Australia, where she lost to Nozkova in one of the biggest upsets of the season. Her form has been pretty good. Hasn't been really great since winning that French Open, but she has still been very consistent, making the quarterfinals of the US Open in her last event. These two have played 12 times before, with Fiontek leading 11-1 in their head-to-head, -head, with Goff, of course, only winning their one match in Cincinnati, but that was five matches ago, and since then, Fiontek has won their last two matches in straight sets. So if Goff is going to get a win over Fiontek for the second time in their careers, she's going to have to do something really impressive. Goff's going to win this one. She needs to serve like she did against Pagula. She served so well in that Pagula match, but she has to limit the errors as well because she did give away, but Pagula did also give a lot of free points to her, so you can't expect that from Sriantek in this second matchup. If Sriantek's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a better start than she did against Krajikova. She was a little lucky against Krajikova because she just got playing good at the right time, I guess, in that second set, and then Krajikova ran out of gas. But Goff's not going to run out of gas. We know that. We've seen that over the time. She has to get off to a good start and eliminate the errors herself if she's going to get the win. I feel like this is a really good time for these two to play, especially if you're a Goff fan, but I still have to go with Sriantek in three sets. I think Goff might get a set, but I just can't go past Fiontek. That 11-1 head-to-head is just way too one-sided for me to pick golf with any confidence, but might get a set. I think Fiontek wins in three. Let me know down in the comments below, though, who's going to win this one.